Alright, so in this video we're going to learn how to set our true north positioning with our drawings. Now, when we bring this in by, auto, by default, Revit automatically sets all of our views to a project north. And we know this by looking in our properties window here and underneath the graphics section we can scroll down a little bit and underneath orientation you'll notice project north. And if I clicked on level 2, same thing. If I clicked on site, same thing. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up a project north position, which is basically, it's a little bit different from this position because the project north is going to allow me to model and create my design in a more orthogonal position so it's represented nicely in my floor plans and I can snap to ele elements much easier and design and model with much more precision than trying to model an um, orthogonal shape that would be in this rectangular building pad at a weird angle like this. So, the main difference between your true north is a lot of times when you get this in, you're bringing in your file in, you'll see you have a nice north arrow in place. True north is going to be the true north positioning on your north arrow. A lot of times they're not exactly the same thing. Project north is more related to dealing with your model. You want that to be set up in a more orthogonal position. Straight up and down, north, west, north, south, east, west. So no weird, crazy angles you got to deal with. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So what we need to do is a couple of things. Is I need to go ahead and activate my service, I'm sorry, my survey point. And also, we, while we're there, we can go ahead and activate our project base point. And within our project base point, that area is where we're going to be able to tell Revit what angle we need to rotate our drawing to get our project base point. So, in order to do that, we need to access our visibility graphics. And our visibility graphics are going to be in our properties window here. And the great thing about the visibility graphics is when we click on edit here, it brings up this window and we can control what all is visible in our project. This can help us reduce clutter and improve the performance of our project as well. Now, luckily, there's a filter list to the top here underneath the model categories. You'll see filter list. Now, I already have filtered mine out, but if yours isn't filtered, if you go to this expanded window, you'll notice we have all the disciplines within here. So if you deselect them all and only select architecture, you'll only have displayed what matters to the architectural part of the design process. So I recommend doing that if you want to save a lot of time and reduce the clutter. So what we're interested in when it comes to this survey and also project base point is a site category. Those are going to be our site elements. So when we scroll down our alphabetical list, we'll look for site here. And I'm going to go ahead and left click on this plus and I'm going to expand that and I need to go ahead and select project base point exactly what we're looking for we'll do the same thing for survey survey point so when I do that I'll click apply and OK now those two are going to be visible in our project but they're not now because remember we imported this thing and it shot around crazy within our project so what we can do is we can right click in our space here and I'm gonna say zoom to fit and what it did was you'll notice over to the right that's our drawing file but over here to the left, those are those two images or two graphics we needed to bring in. The triangle is going to be our survey point, and the circle is going to be our project base point. We'll get more into detail at the next clip. We're just more concerned with orientation. So let's go ahead and select our drawing way over here if you don't see it. Click on Move, and let's bring it close to these areas as possible. And I'm going to scroll in pretty darn close here. And I'll show you, keep these pretty close together so we can see how it works. So here we go. We have, as I mentioned, it's a circle and a triangle, believe it or not. And if I hover over it, you can see them change. And you know, it also comes up and it tells me exactly what it is. So it says project base point. If I were to hit tab, I can switch between the two. So just hover your mouse over and tab and you can do it. But I think a good exercise would be to show you how to use the filter tool. So let's do a left selection holding down left click and letting go once we get to there and underneath our selection panel let's filter this bad boy out so I'm gonna click on filter and what we want to keep we keep checked what we don't need we deselect so we don't want to keep the survey point and I only want to take a look at what's going on in my project base point so I'll say apply and OK and there you go that's where we're going to be inputting the data right in there so I wanted to show you where that was before we jump right into that so let's hit escape one time 
and let's figure out what this angle is. So we have some important pieces of information. I know the orientation of my project, my rectangular building pad, is going to be like so. And this is my true north. So the distance between true north and project north is going to be the distance between this element here, this 90 degree line, and the uh, basically the angle here. So what we can do is we can use a model line as a quick reference, and we can use Revit's measuring tool, specifically the angle measuring tool, to find out what that is and then make that change. So let's jump to Architecture tab. Let's grab that model line within the model panel. I'm going to click on model line. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to come to this intersection and I'm going to draw a nice long model line that's going 90 degrees in the upward position. And I'm going to left click again just to click on the end point. I'll hit escape a couple times to clear out. Now what we need to do is we need to get the angle between this and this or this and this. It'll be exactly the same thing. So underneath the measure tab, when you have something selected here, so we'll select something, our line, measure, expand it, look for your angle dimension, and we'll select the green line, and we'll select the edge of our building pad here. There we go, and just drag it up, and it'll give us a nice dimension. Oh, occasionally I zoom out a little too much here. So I'll zoom in, just scrolling in with my mouse. And there's my dimension. So what I can do is I can left click on it one time and it'll bring up my dimension text. Now I use this more as a way to copy paste information to get exactly the information I need, especially when I'm dealing with decimals. I don't have to memorize anything. So I'm just gonna highlight this value, including the degrees symbol. I'm gonna type control C for copy on my keyboard. I'm gonna cancel out of this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and this is already selected and it's blue. I'm going to go ahead and hit the X to get rid of it. And now what we'll do, now that we have that value in there, we'll highlight our points and we'll type that value where it needs to go. Filter, get rid of what we don't need, only check what we do need, which is our survey, I mean our project base point. Click Apply, OK. Now we can type in that value we have. So. I'm not typing anything in. I'm not trying to memorize anything. I'm going to control V for paste, hit enter, and you can see those degrees down to the decimal are exactly where they need to be. But nothing's happened to our drawing yet. That's because we need to do one more step. All right. Found out our degree. We found out what the degrees are. We know that we're always in Project North by default. So let's give this thing a quick rotate and then watch what happens. So I'm going to select my drawing. While still in Project North, I'm going to go to my Modify panel. We're going to go to Rotate. And I'm going to go, now you'll notice something when I select Rotate. My center of rotation is not exactly where I want it. So if I go to my Options bar, this green bar that runs right across here, you'll see Center of Rotation. Let's left-click on Place. Scroll down till you come to the intersection here. Left-click, and now we're ready. So now I'm going to use basically the model line or the line within my drawing for my second click and now I'm gonna move with my mouse over to my reference point left click and my drawing is rotated so now I'm gonna click modify to kinda of clear out of things so now I know that in this orientation here I am now in my project north view so this is awesome right so what if I wanna get into Maybe my site plan, specifically my site plan, or only my site plan it needs to be in the true north position, and all the rest of my views can be in project north. Well, I can just simply change that positioning within my properties window. So we can go properties window, orientation, project north. We're going to switch that to true north, click apply, and boom. I know I'm in the true north positioning because I can tell by my north arrow within my CAD reference file and my building is back to that angled positioning at 14.24 degrees. I can move back and forth now. I can move back to my project north. I can even go to my site plan now. Now remember this, we ran into this before. I don't see anything here. So we can right click, zoom to fit, scroll in just a bit here, go to my orientation within my properties window, 
go to true north apply now my site plan is in its true north position and when I'm going to be doing my modeling I'll be able to model in my project north position giving me the ability to work orthogonally snapping into endpoints and perpendicular positions and center points and things like that with ease giving me a much more precise project all right that's how you work with your orientation of your project and your views here that's how we can get our project north and our true north established in the next clip I'm gonna give you an explanation of what the project base point and survey point are and I'm gonna show you how we can work with those and make sure that those are set so that we can get start off on the most accurate position possible when working in, our, in Revit. So I'll meet you in the next clip where we'll learn about survey point and project base point.